Hey, Desmond Du here. Today we're going to learn how to make this kinetic typography animation you see here. So, let's begin. In After Effects, let's hit Command N to create a new composition. I'm going to go full HD, 24 frames per second, 4 seconds long, click OK. Alright, so let's select our Type tool and type in the word Typography. Typography. And then we're going to align it to the center using the Align panel. And then we're going to open up our text layer, open up the text options, go to Animate, Enable Per Character 3D, so this make each character 3D. And we're going to go into create our first text, text animator, Position, and we're going to add in Rotation, and then finally, we're going to add in Tracking. Okay, we're going to go down one second, and then we're going to set a keyframe for Position, for Y Rotation, and a Tracking Amount. Go back to uh, frame zero, and then we're going to put our wide rotation to 90, our tracking amount to 20, and then we'll push it uh, backwards for our Z distance, something like that, negative 2500. And I want a perpetual drift, you know, as it, uh, when it reach a zero. So I can write a simple expression in my position. I'm going to option click on my position. And I'm going to type in Z is equals to time times 50 semicolon value plus square bracket 0 comma 0 Z. So what is what this is doing is that it's adding this uh, this perpetual Z value into our key uh, our keyframe position parameter. So if I play it now, right, it's just going to drift perpetually. I'm going to set my set it to half uh, so it renders faster. Okay, and then the next, so let's rename this anim text animator as base. The next thing we want to do is kind of have a alternating uh, Y position for each character. So let's go a property at a position. Oh, make sure you deselect the first text animator. And then go to animate. And then we're going to add in position. We're going to rename this animator. Let's call this mod. We're going to set the Y value to 200. And we're going to select the range selector and delete it. Go to add, selector, and we're going to add in an expression selector. Open it up, and we're going to write our select the expression box, and we're going to type in our expression. So we're going to type in V is equals to square bracket 100 comma 100 comma 100. Because uh, the position parameter, or actually the amount uh, parameter right here is uh, an array, that's tree. Is a, has a set of three values, so we need to do this. So we're going to type in an if statement if text index is mod2 percentage sign. So we're going to go negative v else v. All right, so you see it doesn't work, it's because we need to add in a curly bracket for our value uh, to put our square curly bracket for the v, and you can see that it works. So each uh, character is being alternating. Uh, so it's like for the first character is going negative 200 and you know, the second character is going uh, 200 uh, pixels down. So we're going to put a keyframe for the position, right? And then we're going to set a zero. So as it's coming in, you know, yep, it's doing that. So let's push this keyframe about to one second. Cool. And then now we're going to do the animation out. We're going to go into animate. We're going to put op opacity. And we're going to add in a blur as well. Okay. So I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to set my blur to 100. And I'm going to put my opacity to 0. Open up my range selector. And I'm going to go into advanced, randomize order, change the shape to a ramp up. And I'm going to keyframe the offset to kind of randomize the, the animation out. So we, can, we want to start at 100 for the offset. And then let's go down about one second and put it to zero. Uh, to negative 100. All right, let's play that. And uh, if you're dissatisfied with uh, like which character should fade on first, you can play around the random seed and just try to get the, the type of configuration that you want. All right, so let's play around with the random C. Uh, so yes, the C is animating in, drifting, and animating out. So we're done with the type animation for now. 
we just need to create our camera motion and kind of fine tune the keyframes. Uh, I'm going to hold, press U on my typography text layer. And I'm, I'm just going to right click keyframe assistant and easy ease and see what happens. So that's not so bad. I think you guys could finesse it uh, even better, uh, but that'll take some time. I'm just going to go ahead and just create uh, some camera motion. Let's go to new camera and I'm going to do a one note camera, 35 millimeter and click OK. Let's open up, I'll press P for position and I want it. I want a camera movement to kind of zoom in when it's, uh, when it starts to uh, fade out. So somewhere around here. So let's zoom it in like this and let's play it. So that's not working. The motion is not very good. Let's go to easy ease and open up the speed graph, feed all graph to view. And we're going to just pull these handles like this. Uh, maybe like that too. Let's play it. Okay. Let's exit the speed graph. And uh, let's see, let's play it here. So maybe it could be a little bit slower. Okay, that's not bad. All right, so let's press N to kind of uh, trim the work area over there, the out, the out point here. So let's play that. Okay, let's go back to the front. And then uh, we're gonna put an uh, animated rotation now. So press R on the camera. So we're gonna rotate the Z rotation. So we can put a keyframe down for about 26, uh, the value of 26 and put it to zero. And again, let's do, uh, let's right click and then keyframe assistant, easy ease. And let's do the same thing. Let's fade the graph to view and we can just maybe have it slower. Let's try that. Okay, cool. So that's it. That's how you make this simple kinetic type animation. You guys can have this project file for free in the link in the description below. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. You can also find me on Instagram at Desmond Do to see the stuff I worked on or tag me if you make something cool with this tutorial. Do leave a comment below for what you would like to see next. Alright, I'll see you next time.